Hi and welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Gothenburg. As a planned city, there's a neat order to Gothenburg streets, and 300 years after it was founded a new wave of construction in the 1920s gave the cultural meccas like the Museum of Art. In a maritime town like Gothenburg, you should also try to spend as much time as possible on the water. Island hopping on the archipelagos, off the coast, or floating down the 17th century canals. In addition, we have another special tip in the description more about this later. Let's get started. Number 10. Trad Guards for an Engine Gothenburg's most central park may well be its prettiest, as the Garden Society of Gothenburg has hardly changed since the 19th century. It was inaugurated in 1842 by King Karl XIV Johan and thanks to its meticulous preservation, have been given listed status in Sweden. There are historic buildings in the park, like the Kew Coffee House that dates to 1874. But the postcard image is the magnificent Palm House, Palm Muset, erected in 1878, based on London's Crystal Palace and containing tropical species. In June and July, the Rose Garden's 6,000 bushes are in bloom for a spectacle of color and fragrance that will stay with you. Number 9. Feskakorka On a canal side in central Gothenburg is the city's fish and shellfish market. You'll be forgiven for mistaking this building for a church, as its design was inspired by Norwegian state churches and medieval Gothic architecture, hence the name Fish Church. The market opened in 1874 and was a technical marble at the time as there are no pillars inside, with a roof supported instead by powerful beams. This should be your first stop for ocean fresh fish and shellfish caught on the day. There are also two highly rated restaurants at the market, a few options for takeout, and even a stall that will shuck your oysters for you and pair them with wine. Number 8. Volvo Museum Some way west of the center, on a quay beyond the mouth of the Gota Al, is a museum all about Sweden's best-loved automotive brand, which was founded in Gothenburg in 1927. If you're a Volvo aficionado, you'll find almost every model that the brand has ever produced, checking out dozens of vintage cars and trucks people know and love, but also concept cars never intended for sale. Volvo was never just about cars either, and there's an absorbing exhibition for the Volvo Ocean Race and Equipment, developed by Volvo Aero. Number 7. Patton Tour Patton is a flat-hulled, low-profile sightseeing barge that tours Gothenburg's harbor and canals. The boats depart two or three times an hour, are hop-on and hop-off, so you can spend a bit more time at the sites that pique your interest. In a city with a strong maritime spirit, it's a must-do activity, showing you around the 17th century canals, the fishing harbor, old shipyards, and waterfront industry and passing below scores of bridges. You'll see those vessels at the Meridiman from a new angle and get a view of Gothenburg's more recent developments, like the postmodern Lillipalmen Tower. All the way, you'll be given tidbits about Gothenburg's construction in the 1600s and how the city was defended. Number 6. Mastug Church This church dates to 1914 and was designed in the Nordic Romantic style by Siegfried Eriksson who also conceived Gothenburg's Museum of Art. With a tower rising to 60 meters, it's a striking edifice to behold. But what gives the church its power is its location at the crest of Mastug Hill beside the Gota Al. As a constant presence on the skyline, the church is a prominent landmark in every sense and has become an emblem of the city. Take a peek at the interior, which can hold more than 1,000 worshippers. Ericsson also designed the altar triptych which was fashioned by the sculptor Ninan Santison, and he drew up plans for the baptismal font, which were finally realized in 1991 using sandstone quarry from the island of Gotland. Number 5. Skansen Kronen Atop a hill in Haga is one piece of a system of artillery fortifications that went up in the 17th century, on the back of centuries of fighting with Denmark. And despite the turmoil that preceded its construction, this redoubt never actually took part in the battle. The tower can only be viewed from the outside as it is now reserved for functions and sets the scene for summer concerts. But you can come for an ice cream in summer and get an idea of its 5-meter thick walls and inspect the 23 ports for cannons that were never fired in anger. 
Number 4. New Alsborg Fortress This stronghold was set up on an island at the mouth of the Gotha, of in the second half of the 17th century. It became Gothenburg's first line of defense for the sea after its less defendable predecessor was dismantled. There's a regular boat trip from Lillebaman to this island to adventure through the Ravelins, Passages, Bastions, Magazine, and Gun Emplacements. Unlike Skans and Cronin, this fortress was called into action briefly in 1719 when it faced an assault from the Danish and Norwegian fleets. The tours are given a historical theme, so you'll be greeted at the island's dock by actors in period costume who will regale you with tales from Gothenburg's fractious 17th century. Number 3. Natural History Museum At the northern entrance to Slotskogen is Gothenburg's Natural History Museum, which goes back to 1833 and moved into its current premises in 1923. The museum has an old-school feel, so expect a lot of stuffed animals. Two of these are enormous. There's a blue whale that washed up close to Gothenburg in 1865 and has the honor of being the only mounted blue whale in the world. Another enormous beast is the African elephant, weighing six tons and measuring six meters in height. For something a bit more edifying, there's a spacewalk, Rim Promenaden, a scale model of the solar system, with planets dotted across the park to the south, and Pluto located several kilometers away. Number 2. Delsdum. Catch the tram out from the center of Gothenburg to Tapelsgate, and then walk another few minutes to this pair of lakes. Lilla and Stora Delgin, enveloped in dense woodland. Fed by the Goat Owl, Delgin is a water reservoir for the city and promises peace, unblemished nature, and outdoor fun. You could ramble, jog, or cycle around its shores in birch and coniferous woodland. And when the weather is right, Stora Delgin's large beach gets a thumbs up from families, while you can also dive off rocks around the shore for a bracing dip. There's a cafe a playground for youngsters and a food kiosk, as well as barbecue and picnic areas for timeless summer afternoons. Number 1. Gothenburg Opera House On the harbor at Lillebommen stands Gothenburg's postmodern opera house, which was almost 50 years in the pipeline and finally opened in 1994. The final product divides opinion, but nobody could say that the building isn't bold. Beyond its eye-catching hall-like form, there are a few noteworthy things about the Opera House, like an intelligently devised interior that allows productions to be staged at a lower cost and a record construction time of just a couple of years. You can see the airy interiors, go behind the scenes and find out about its clever logistics on a tour. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.